The lesson topic for this video is calculating the measure of theta. And remember this right here is the symbol for theta. It is a Greek letter we use as a variable. All right, so here is the kind of culminating question for this unit. If point 9, negative 14 is on a coordinate plane, find the measure of the angle it creates, which we'll call theta. All right, so let's start by plotting this point 9, negative 14. All right, we go uh, 9 to the right on the x-axis, and then negative 14 on the y-axis. We're going to be right down in this region here. Okay, and we're estimating it, not a big deal if we don't put those tick marks on the axis. So there's our point 9, negative 14, and we are going to find the measure of the angle that it creates, okay, the angle that would be in standard position. So we're going to put a point here at the origin and create the initial side of our angle here, and then we create the terminal side of our angle, we create the terminal side of the angle through that point right there. Sorry, it's a little wavy. So the angle that we're trying to calculate in the end is this angle right here, which we call theta, the original angle. Now in order to do that, well, we are going to need to use that reference angle we've been talking about in several other lessons so that we can create a right triangle in this region here and use trig so that we can find this angle the reference angle, which we, is theta prime, so that we can then find the measure of theta. Because right now there's really no way we can find the measure of this angle right here. Um, we could estimate it, but that's about as, as good as we could do. So if this is 270, maybe this is 290. Okay? Um, or maybe it's a little bit lar larger, but we can't really figure it out. So that's why we needed this theta prime the whole time, is that there's no way to calculate this. But there is a way to calculate this, and once we do that, we can take that value away from 360, which will give us the remaining theta measure. Does that make sense? If not, we're going to walk through it, and if it does, great. Let's take a look at how it works. So first of all, I'm going to call <clears throat> this here theta prime. All right, we are going to create a right triangle by using the point 9, negative 14, and we're going to use that going towards the x-axis and creating our right angle. I should back up just a second. Remember that we decide where that reference angle goes based on it's the angle that's created with the terminal side of the original angle and the nearest x-axis, which is here. So terminal side, x-axis, this is theta prime, right? And that is what we're going to calculate first. In order to calculate that, we are going to fill in the lengths that we know because of this point right here, 9, negative 14. We know we went from 0, 0 over to 9 on the x-axis, so we know this is 9 units. So we're going to put a 9 right here. And then from there, we went down negative 14, to get to this point, so we know that the distance here, the length, is 14. Remember that length is not going to be negative, even though it's a negative 14. Now at this point, we can use trig, and in fact inverse trig, to find the measure of this angle. To find the measure of an angle, we'll use, in this case, the opposite side and the adjacent side. If you want to label those, feel free, right? So from that angle, theta prime, we know this is the hypotenuse, Opposite side is over here because it's opposite of the angle theta prime, and this is adjacent here. The two sides that we know are the adjacent side and the opposite side, and opposite and adjacent are found together in which ratio? I think I already said it, but let's write this out. So katoa, so the opposite side and the adjacent side are found in the tangent ratio. So we're going to use the tangent of theta prime. The tangent is the opposite, which is 14, over the adjacent, which is 9. Remember that we can't take the tangent of a variable, or theta prime in this case, on our calculator. We need to use inverse trig. So we say the tangent inverse of 14 over 9 is equal to theta prime. So we'll go ahead and calculate that. And we find that to be 57 
degrees. So theta prime is 57.265 degrees, we can now find the value of theta, or the measure of theta. Think about this for a second. If this ray was brought all the way around and back to where it began, it was 360 degrees, but instead it stops here, which is 57.265 degrees short of the 360 degrees. So now all we need to do is take our 360 degree full circle, subtract from it our 57.265, and we will end up with 302 degrees, 302.735. So that is the measure of theta. So I was a little bit off when I estimated earlier. I said this is 270, so maybe 290, and I said maybe a little bigger, and sure enough, it is 302 degrees. All right, so we'll just do one more example here. Um, I did list the steps for you. If you are um, a student who would like these steps in your notes, please go ahead, pause the video, and write these down. If not, if you feel like you're solid without having this listed, you can go ahead and try the second example. I'd like you to pause it and try it out and then check back to see how you did. But here are the steps. Given a point on the terminal side of theta, first draw the angle in standard position and label it theta, which we did on the previous example. Then label theta prime, the reference angle. Third, sketch a right triangle using theta prime. Use an inverse trig ratio to find the measure of theta prime. And then lastly, find theta. So again, go ahead and pause the video check to make sure that you can do this um, on your own, or if you know that you're not quite ready for that, go ahead and watch me walk through it. Okay, if the point negative 12, 5 is on the coordinate plane, okay, let's start there. I'm going to put that point negative 12, 5, so negative 12 and then positive 5, that's going to be a point right about here. So if we draw our initial side on the x-axis, and then draw our other side. Whoa, hello. Let's try that again. We draw our other side of the angle through that point, like so. There is our original angle, theta. And our goal is to find the measure of that angle. In order to do so, we are going to label theta prime. Theta prime is the angle that's created by the terminal side of the angle and the nearest x-axis, which is right here. So right here is theta prime. We're going to create a right triangle with this point drop down. There's our right triangle. Now, the length of this side right here, because again, we labeled the reference angle, now we're going to sketch the right triangle and fill in the information. So this side right here, we went left 12, left, or we went negative 12. So that's positive 12 for the length here. And then we went up 5 to get to the point. So there's 5 and 12. In order to find the measure of theta prime, we're going to use inverse trig. Again, some of you might be um, wanting to jot down that this is the hypotenuse here across from the right angle. Based on theta, the, right, the opposite side is 5 over here, so that's opposite. And lastly, that would leave this as the adjacent side. So if the two sides that we have are the 5 and the 12, that's opposite and adjacent. If we think about Sokotoa, opposite and adjacent are together here in the tangent ratio. So we're going to write that the tangent of theta prime is opposite over adjacent, so 5 over 12. To calculate this, we need to use inverse tangent to find the me uh, measure of theta prime. When we do this, we will get the measure of theta prime to be 22.620. All right, that's the measure of this angle right here. 22.620. Now, think about this time. What are we going to do to find the measure of theta if we know this theta prime is 
Last time on the previous example, we had to subtract that theta prime value from 360. But this time, we need to subtract this theta prime value from 180, because it is shy of a 180 degree angle, not shy of a 360 degree angle. So we're going to take a 180 degree angle, subtract from it a 22.620 degree angle, that is theta prime, and when we subtract these, we get 157.380 degrees. So the measure of theta is 157.380 degrees. What I would do in the very end of any of these problems is make sure that that makes sense for the diagram that you have. Does it make sense that this ray right here, if you plotted this point pretty accurately right here, does it make sense that this angle is 157 degrees? And I would say yes, that makes sense. This is 90, this is 180, halfway through is 135, so that makes sense that this is 157 degrees. And that's it.